quarter. The Bulldogs outscored Shaw 17-7, knocking off Shaw by the 42-33 score. In the loss, Shaw was led by Tyra Sinclair, who had 10 points, followed by Dominique Kennedy, who had 5 points and 10 rebounds, and DeJoria Howard with 9 points. With the loss, the Lady Bears fall to 6-11 on the season, 2-7 and seven in CIAA play. Next up is a game tonight, MLK Day, Monday, January the 20th. They host Virginia Union, 6 p.m. inside of C.C. Spalding Gymnasium. Following the ladies' contest versus Bowie State, the men took the court versus the Bulldogs, and it was a cold shooting first half for Shaw University as they shot only 16% from the field, and that pretty much doomed the Bears. The second half was a different story. The Bears shot 47%, but it was much too late as Bowie State came away with a 96-67 win over Shaw. In the loss, Nigel Martin, the freshman out of Cleveland, led the Bears with 25 points and 15 rebounds, followed by Devon Kelsey with 16 points, freshman Marvis Odia, the second, at 12 points and 4 rebounds, and Grayson Kelly had 12 points in the loss for Shaw, who fall to 4-13 and overall, 1-8 and in CIAA play. Next up is a game tonight. They return to the friendly confines of C.C. Spalding Gymnasium for a home game versus Virginia Union MLK Day matchup. Following the ladies game, tip-off is tentatively scheduled for 8 p.m. For more information on women's and men's basketball, visit ShawBears.com. And that was your Shaw Bears scoreboard. Tough week for men's and women's basketball as they both lost two games apiece this past week. Heartbreaking fashion at home for both the ladies and the men versus Livingstone. Then on the road at Bowie State, they look the right to ship tonight versus Virginia Union. At home, going to be a tough game for both ladies and men. We hope to see your face in the place. The game will be broadcast on the Shaw Bears Sports Network on ShawBears.com. Myself and Donald Ware will be on the call. Please, please, please support, and we thank you kindly. Again, thank you to Associate Coach Dominic Stevens, the men's basketball coach, for joining us on the Shaw Report this week as he looks to right the ship for the Bears. We got to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening every week, week in, week out, every Monday on ShawBears.com. But we got to go. But before I do, remember, never take no for an answer. And if the dough is locked, dig a tunnel underneath the building and sneak your way in. This is the Shaw Report. I am Damian Banks. I got two words for you, people. I'm gone. A heap sees, but a few know. Only a few. So many have come before, but only a few can go. We invite you to our house. That's 109. Just make sure you wipe your feet at the door. 109 Cushman Street, Durham, North Carolina. Make a right on Wedge, then a left on Walt, and in the middle is where you find us. That's Durham Street. Past the Gucci's, McNair's, and the Coleman's. Miss Elaine taking clothes off the line. It's time to fold. Fold the clothes, boy. Pop sitting in his folding chair. Underneath the tree, working on the lawnmower. Uh, hand me a flathead. Said your work just getting started, boys. Listen up. It's too early for an encore. Come on. Mama tatted on my arm. Sipping on the lawnmower. Really, though. Liquor still flow like I'm 21. I'm younger than many, huh? But I got the older soul. Yeah. They say I'm hard to decipher. I'm so Morris Cole. We just trying. What about? But my poor is cold. I know who my daddy is. Ain't no more.